Hi, my name is Peter Crin, and today I am going to show you how to download all the resources and assessments that are required for your certificate for or diploma in, in building and construction course. So, first of all, check your emails. You should have received an email regarding the induction. It should look something to similar like this, and what you need to do is scroll down to the resources and then you need to click on the Dropbox links as shown. Click on the first link, link one for BNC building. Click it there. It will then take you to a web page that says enter password for this link. Enter the password, which is in the same email that was given to you, and then click on continue. Listed here are all your folders that you need to require for your course. Now, instead of manually downloading each folder one by one, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top right corner where it says download. We're going to then click on direct download. I'm also going to go then go back to my emails again and I need to now download link to common resources. So I'm going to click on that link. And then I'm going to click on download and then click on direct download. And it should start downloading. Now to see this, it does take a while to download all these files. So to see the status of my downloads, I can click on the top right corner of these three dots right here. This is if you're using Google Chrome. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to click on downloads. And over here, it will show me how much time is left for my downloads. Depending on your internet speed or your internet connection, uh, it can take anywhere from half an hour to an hour. So now that my downloads have finished, it's time to open them up and extract them to a folder where I can easily access them. So when you download off Dropbox, what you will see is that they're in a compressed zip folder. The reason why it does this is when you're downloading off Dropbox, it's just easier to save into the one file. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to double click into it. Over here, I need to extract all. The reason why we need to extract all is so that you can uh, read over and write your files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, I'm going to click on extract all. I'm going to browse it and save to somewhere that's easy to remember. I'm going to save it into my desktop. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to right click, create a new folder, and I'm just going to call it TIV course. The reason why we do this, it's nice to save all your files and folders into the one place. So I'm going to save it into TIV course, double click into that. Then I'm going to create another folder with inside it. Once I've double clicked into TIV course, and I'm just going to call it Cert4. And click on that. And I'm going to select that folder, or double click into it, and click on Extract. Okay, it will bring it all the way to the desktop and I'm going to do the same thing as well to my common resources. So I'm going to double click into my common resources as well. Click that, I'm going to extract it all and I'm going to click on browse. Go back to my desktop, double click onto the TIV course. And I am just going to extract it here so that one is one folder is going to be my cert4 and the other folder is going to be my common resources. 
So just select that folder and click extract. Uh, depending on how fast your computer is, uh, it can take anywhere from a minute to five minutes. So it's all dependent on uh, how new the computer is or if it's from five years ago, it may take longer. So the only thing is that you just got to be patient. Now that my files have finished extracting, I'm going to navigate to my folder where I have it saved. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this or click on my desktop here. This is another shortcut desktop. I'm going to click into the folder that is saved on my desktop by double clicking into TIV course. I'm going to maximize that by double clicking or I can use this little square symbol over here. And you will see that I have two folders. One is for my cert four, and one is for my common resources. In the folder for cert four, you'll see all your subjects that are listed in order by their subject code. For example, BSB ITU 212 is create and use spreadsheets. And each folder has always structured with one with assessment and one with resources. So in your assessment, that is usually the assessment coursework that is required for the course. And in your resources is the resources that are used for that subject. I'll give you another example as well. You also have, say, your 4010, 4011B. That subject is apply structural principles. And you can see here, you've got the assessment for it, as well as the assessment resources. On top of that, I'm going to click back and go back to the root folder of my course. So I'm going to run you through the common resources. Now, what common resources are, there are a bunch of shared learning resources that are done across all subjects. In your common resources, you have a bunch of valuable information that you can use as a student as well as for your projects. So you've got your projects, ARCS, which stands for ACTS, Regulations, NCC and Building Standards. Uh, a little quick glossary that explains a lot of terms that we use in the course, uh, a lot of technical terms. Uh, information for when you finish your course, if you become, want to become a registered building practitioner, we have all that information there as well. Uh, apps that you can use, that you should download to use for your course, as well as how to use Microsoft Word and all those other programs, as well as a lots and lots of information that you can look and use. So it's there on my desktop, TLV course, cert for, as well as my common resources. So that concludes this video on how to download all your resources from Dropbox and use them for your course. Uh, good luck with your course and if you have any questions or you can always contact us at student support by sending an email to student support at tiv.vic.edu.au or simply you can call us through on our phone number 9399 9511. I hope you found this video helpful.